the number is down because we brought the number down. God did not do that. Fate did not do that. Destiny did not do that. Governor Cuomo, with all respect to the efforts you've made, with all respect to your desire to save lives, with your care for many in your state and wanting to see them healthy and safe, with all respect to all the efforts made, sir, it is never wise to discredit God. It is never wise to say, we did this, not God. I understand that you may be countering an extreme faith idea. Well, we'll just pray and God will take care of things and we are irresponsible. You know, we'll, we'll spend all our money and God will take care of the debt, that kind of irresponsibility and spiritual fantasy. I, I understand that's out there, but sir, it is never wise to dishonor God. You have no idea if any of your best efforts would have done anything if not for people praying for mercy if not for people crying out to God day and night behind the scenes, if not for God caring about human lives as well. You literally have no idea how much your best efforts did save lives and how much the prayer of God's people saved lives or how much God's merciful intervention saved lives. So why not say, thank God, we are so grateful for where we are And we thank all of you who've prayed, and I want to commend all of you for the efforts you've made because the efforts you've made, they have saved lives. Why not say that? Why not glorify God, thank everyone for praying, and say, along with prayer, it's your action that has made a great difference. Why not say that? Because it is true that people have made efforts, and certainly those efforts have made a difference. Either just thank the people for their efforts and say it's working— and, and don't even mention the God part in that context because you're just talking about practical steps or give thanks to God and appreciate people praying and then commend everyone for the efforts they're making and say, your actions are saving lives. But to discredit God, to say God didn't do this, sir, number one, you don't know that. Number two, it's always wise to honor him rather than dishonor him to the extent we glory in ourselves. To that extent, we prove ourselves fools.